Hi, this is Liza from Appalachian Spirit Folk Instruments, and we are live at Haygood Mill. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you all. We're set up. We are back to doing live events, and we are so happy about this. There's Bill. Say hi. Hey. And we're all set up here at this beautiful, beautiful site at Haygood Mill in Pickens. Um, we have a lot of vendors here today. It's a gorgeous day out. There's live demonstrations going on of all sorts of uh, different things regarding uh, mountain plants and mountain herbs. That's the theme today. There's live music you could probably hear in the background. They have a couple of stages here. Hey, Good Mill has a uh, campground now, a camping area that's uh, across the road and people have been enjoying that. And this beautiful mill that has been around since the 19th century, have the water wheel there. And they still grind corn and do some wonderful uh, cornmeal and grits. There we are. And there is the um, the prehistoric rock carvings uh, they have in this building here and there's nature trails and everybody's enjoying a beautiful day and we wanted to take advantage of this to just uh, maybe demonstrate some of our instruments and show you we've got our music books we have our beautiful handmade carry cases created by Martina Bump our friend and brilliant bag maker who makes these wonderful bags just for us yes <laughs> um, and we've got our zithers our lap harps this is an oak we have a light cherry we have a walnut and we have poplar now, one of the questions we have asked quite a bit is, is there a difference in the sound of the instruments with the different woods? That's an Appalachian ash, the light ash, right in front of Martina. There, this is Martina. Hi, Martina. She makes our beautiful bags. <laughs> uh, we've got a dark cherry. And... I am going to have Martina hold the camera for me. She's going to come around and she, I'm going to demonstrate our instruments because we keep, like I said, we keep having people turn around. We keep having people ask if there's a difference in the sound and hopefully I'll be close enough and you'll be able to hear me well enough. If anybody's watching and they want to say whether or not they can hear well enough, Please let us know. I'm, I'm a total amateur at this. So. I am going to first demonstrate. This is a dark poplar. And we have our wonderful World of Harmony music books that we put in here. And I'm going to play the same song on each instrument and let you all listen to the sound. This is what um, this sounds like on poplar. We wish you a Merry Christmas on Poplar. This is cherry. Now, all our zithers are solid woods. They're made with solid woods that are native to the Appalachian region. Over the years, we've found the woods that work best to make the very best sounding, best lasting zithers. Um, this is cherry. Poplar is on the softer side of the solid wood range. Cherry is kind of a mid-range. And I'll play the cherry. I'll just do that first part of We Wish You a Merry Christmas again. And that was on cherry. Now I'm going to try it on an ash. Ash is... Ash and oak are like heavier, harder woods. 
and some people will hear a slightly brighter pitch with Asherah, some may not hear a difference at all, so let me play this for you. There's a couple of instruments we don't have here today, like our harmony and um, our southern pine. Southern pine is on the softer end of the spectrum, like poplar. Well, actually, I do have a southern pine. I have my butterfly. I'll go in and play that one for you. But this is a walnut. And I'll let you hear how that sounds. And the last one I'm going to use, I'm going to play mine. This is a blue butterfly, which is one of our favorite mating pictures. Um, and it's made with southern pine. I've been playing this one for years. is made with a cherry face and back of a curly maple frame. So that's going to sound, if, if you're hearing any differences in the sounds, the harmony is going to sound mostly like a cherry. Um, and let me go ahead and get the camera back. Like I said, I'm fumbling this a little bit. So we're just going to show you what we have here. And... If anybody has any questions, I'm hearing that the oak sounds different. And that it sounds good. Thank you. Lynn, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying your zither. Um, and we just enjoy creating these. We enjoy playing. We are so happy to be back out doing events like this and being around music and people um, and outside on this gorgeous, gorgeous day. I hope you all are enjoying your day. If anybody has any questions, uh, please um, visit our website at Appalachian Spirit. Uh, you could always message us here on our Facebook page or you could fill out a form on our website and send us um, a message if you have any questions on anything. We do have a sale on our uh, blooming zithers. I've, I'm calling it our blooming zither sale. All our uh, Carolina dogwoods, the pink dogwood, the mountain rose, those are all on sale at $10 off our regular price and that's good till May 31st. Um, we have our carry cases on the website, our music books. Um, we do offer free shipping on any order over $100 within the continental United States. And if you have any questions at all, if you want to ask them here, I'll keep an eye out for uh, your comments and questions and respond. Or you can message us and we'll be glad to answer them. Uh, thank you for watching and listening. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend.